hi people hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel and if you're here for the first time i'm favor napoleon and you're welcome here it's tuesday again so we are here on today's episode i'm going to be talking about what i tag unique uniqueness you know everyone on earth is special everyone is unique everyone is important you are unique we are unique the vibe family everyone in the world is special to be unique means to be special not like anyone else not like anybody else but to be you for me to be unique means i am myself i am me i'm being me growing up as a teenager i had issues because of comparison issues and a lot of things i think i discussed that in two of my episodes i i'm going to be linking them up or i'll put them in the description um i'll put them in the description box i talked about how to define no one should define you sorry then i talked about how to love yourself yeah so when i was growing up i i, I explained in details those issues i had while i was growing up so you can check it out so i had this issue so i had to keep telling myself consistently how unique i am how important i am to myself and to the world and i just had to keep telling myself you know some people people sometimes want to be like another person they want to be like um michael jackson they want to be like an, an actress they want to be like beyonce they want to be like those who are already made it who they are, who've already made their way through to the top they want to um, imitate them and be them. One thing you should know in life is that you are special. Being you actually makes you unique. People have seen enough of these people already. So imitating them, they will just go for the original. Instead of coming to watch you. If you decide to sing like Beyonce or you decide to dance like Beyonce, people have already seen enough of that. For them to come to look for the imitation, they rather just go to the original. So being you is being original. Some people think, I wish I had this. I wish I can do it like this person. I wish I can, you know, it's good to get, it's good to be inspired by people. It's good to see what other people do and be inspired and be inspired by it. But becoming someone else is you are actually making yourself less of who you really are. You are actually hiding some hidden treasures that you have. You know, it's just like some people will say, oh, I wish I can sing like this person or I wish I can do it like this person. I wish I can do it the, the way this person does it so well. But the truth of the matter is that those your mistakes, that your imperfection is what really makes you unique. Yeah, that's what really makes you unique. That voice you think you don't have, you can't sing so well, that's what makes you unique. That thing you that you feel you don't have. Oh, I have I just have one hand or one of my legs is shorter than the other one. That's what makes you unique because everybody has most people have equal leg, but yours is one is shorter than others. That's your selling point to me. You know, there are some part of my body that is not like every other person. I have a special way I walk. You know, I don't walk like just like the way every other person walks. When next you see me walking on vlogs, check me out. I always tell myself, that's what makes me unique because nobody can actually have that same step that I have. So that thing that you think is your imperfection is that thing, that thing you feel, oh, I wish this can be corrected in my body. That's what actually makes you unique. That's your selling point. That's your uniqueness. So take advantage of that. I have a friend who can market any product. <laughs> he will talk about products so well that you just want to you just want to buy it now. Even when you don't have the money, you want to go and look for the money. It's so good when it comes to promoting products, when it comes to promoting things. When you, when you tell him to talk about things, he's so, so good at it. You know? So that's the selling point. But there are other people that cannot really market a product, even when the product is a very good product. You know, they can't market it. This is a product. Just give it to him and say, okay, can you talk about this? The way he will so talk about this product, you will like... My God, oh, I really need to get it. That's his uniqueness. That's his advantage. So find that thing that is that differentiates you and work on it. There are people who talk very well. There are people who can just from today to tomorrow. Instead of turning into gossip, gossiping people, they, they just become comedians. 
So that's how it works. Find that that unique thing about you and work on it. And stop saying, I wish you, you wish you were this person or that person. What about your hidden qualities that you have? That thing that you think you can do so well. That thing that you think you can do without too much effort. Work on it. That's your selling point. That's your selling point. The more rare a thing or a product is, the higher the demand. Just like diamond, gold, oil. You can't see them on the road. You can't just be walking and just see diamond and pick oil. You just see to pick on the streets every day. They are rare. They are rare. That's what makes them unique. And that's what every human being on earth has. We are all rare. No two, even if they are, uh, uh, they are two identical twins, they are not still the same. Their personalities are different. Even if facially you can't differentiate them, there's still something unique about that twin, about the triplet, about the quiplet, or the quipetless. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Every human being has their personality. All you just need to do is to bring out that unique you and make the best use of it. Bring it out. Don't try to be someone else. Yeah, it's good to get inspired by other people or use, even if you copy the same thing someone else did. Put your personality into it. Make it different. Yeah, make it different. If, for example, now someone, maybe as a content creator, I saw someone in front of the camera, probably maybe just did a video, is it move bank, they call it, or something like that, sit in front of the camera, eat a particular food. I might want to eat my own. I have to bring my style into that food. I cannot just sit down and eat with cutleries. Maybe I'll eat with my hand. Maybe I'll eat and dance while eating it. You know, I bring my uniqueness into what I do. I will bring it into it and that will differentiate me from the other person. So find that unique part of you and enhance it. And enhance it. Don't wish you were someone else. We all are important in our own various way. We all are unique in our own various way. Diamond is, the, the, the value for diamond is different from the value for good. It's different from the value for oil. So it works like that. They all have their place. So don't try to be diamond when you are supposed to be water. No, don't try to be water when you are supposed to be gold. Don't take the place of being a water. Water, everybody drinks water every day. Diamond, you might not wear diamond every day. Some people wear diamond rings. Like someone like me, when I want to sleep, I take off my ring. When I wake up again, I put it in the bag. But there are some people... Like my husband now can sleep with his ring. I don't think he has ever removed his ring since we got married. But it doesn't work for me like that. So everybody is unique. That is why you should not imitate anyone. Imitation is limitation. That's, what I, that's how I define imitation. When you imitate someone, it, it just means you are denying yourself of you. You are denying yourself of the real you. You are denying yourself of who you are. You are denying yourself of your real person of the true you by imitating someone else. The most important person you should be on the head, the most important person you should be in this world is you. Is you. That's the truth. Let those your mistake, those things you think you can't do, let it be your advantage. Let it be your advantage. You might, you might have many children, like six children, from the same womb, the same sperm produce them. Their personalities are always different. I have siblings. We are all different. But we all, we, we all was produced by the same sperm. But we are different. The same mom. We all came out from the same vagina. But our personalities are, are different. So that's how life is. Be your unique you. If you want to be David Doe, for example, if you want to be, just, just, okay, let me give an instance of Michael Jackson. Since Michael Jackson died, we have never found anyone like Michael Jackson. We have never seen anyone that sings like Michael Jackson. Why? Because he didn't try to be someone else. He was an original. He was himself. Original and not replaceable. No matter how you use the, the best uh, uh, photo starting machine in the world to duplicate it. It can never be an original. So be the real you. 
Those things you think you cannot do are actually what makes you different from another person. I remember when I was, well, I was in school, I think, was it economics, we call it then, or social studies, they would tell us to cook different meal. The teachers would give us the same recipe, the same spices, the same everything. You cook, you cook, you cook. The same, the same products, the same ingredients, the same sorts. The same spices, thyme, curry, black pepper, white pepper, tomato, everything. By the time we, we all do it in groups, sometimes individual. The, we, we, we all always have that 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 um, is always is always at the is always at the end of the term we normally do it. That's our exam. We use the same spices, but at the end of the day, when we taste the same food, it never tastes the same. That's just to say that every human being is different. We might use the same spices. We might do the same thing, but it can never be the same. That's the best way to define uniqueness. Uniqueness means to be original. It is, it is, your, it is, your, it is your stamp. So be unique. Be the unique you. Live, your, live the best you. Don't try to be A when you are made to be a C. Don't try to be another person. Just be you. Bring out those potentials in you. Those your imperfections. Make them your perfections. That's why I see when people go for surgery, plastic surgeries and the rest. They, didn't, they don't know the importance of themselves. If somebody is going for a plastic surgery because he had wounds or he had um, an um, incident or an accident that tamper with his or her skin or some part of their body is very understandable. It is when needed. I think that's what those plastic surgery were even made for, were, were originated from. But not for someone who is fine, said I want an extra bonbon or an extra this. Why? They didn't know the, the, their uniqueness. That was actually their selling point. And they just tampered with it. So, be the unique you. You have an identity that nobody can duplicate. So don't try to be somebody else. Don't compete with other people. Just stand out. Just be you and be that unique you. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you had a nice time while watching. <laughs> you are let me know what you think about this episode. Let me know what is in your heart. Let's meet in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed, show me some love by subscribing. Hmm? Show me some love by subscribing. And thank you for watching. <laughs> and promise me you're going to stay happy. See you in the next episode. See you, see you. I always say I'll see you on Tuesday. What is it with this Tuesday self? <laughs> That was why someone, when, when my friends calls me now, what they say first is, it's Tuesday. I know I'll see you on Tuesday. That's what they tell me now. So, <sighs> promise me you stay happy. See you on Tuesday. Let's meet in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this episode. Promise me you're going to be that unique you. See you in the next episode. See you on Tuesday. Bye-bye.